Welcome to ITS Dispatch, how to create a multiple driver load. To create a multiple driver load, you'll start at the same as you would any other load. You'll go to the new active load option. First thing you'll do is enter in the customer's name, selected from your drop down window. Select the sales rep, if any, associated with this load. Put in the work order number that you need that will appear on the invoice. The next line down will represent the amount that you are charging your customer. In this case, we've got $2,000 line haul. I do not have any charges at this time for picks and drops or fuel surcharge, but if I did, I can enter it at this time and I do not have any other charges. Then I will select from my driver's list what I'm going to use and in this case, I'm going to use multiple driver. At that moment, you'll notice things changed on the load edit page. You now new, have a new tab at the top called driver one and a second one called add. At this point, then we will go down to shipper and you will enter in the physical place where the load's being picked up by your first driver. This is, is the information that will be shown to your customer on the invoice. The information that is on both driver one and driver two tabs will not be transposed to your customer's invoice. We'll enter in the description and also the type of load. In this case, it's a truck load. Quantity one, then we'll proceed down to the bottom and select the receiving location, ABC Trucking in Toronto. At this point, if I want, I can save the information. Only after I complete driver one information. So driver one, I will choose from my list, which is John. He will be taking my 53 foot fan, truck number 100. At that time, my suggested start location, which is extremely important if you're using our system for IFTA, that you correctly choose the, the location where in this case, John is coming from to go pick up the load. Then you also select the trailer. Then you'll enter in where you are sending John in this case to pick up the load, which is still Sam's Clubs in Houston. The date that he's picking up. What is he picking up? Goods or dry goods in this case. He's picking up a truckload for us and one load. In this case, you're not going to mark it at the receiver's location. You are going to put in here the location where John is going to take it to do the switch with your second driver. In this case, all I need John to do is pick it up and bring it back to the yard. We have a yard located in Houston, so that will be the switch point. You'll notice the dry goods and type need to be put in and quantity. So driver one is John and he's picking up the load for us. Now, if I want to save this information, go back to the load information tab and save. It now shows on my dispatch board as a dash one. Next, to put my second driver on the load, I reopen up the load by clicking on the load number. Go to my second tab, which is add. And at this point, I will choose the driver who's going to pick it up at this point. I'm going to choose John Smith in trail my still using my reefer. He's going to use a different truck number, but the same trailer number. You will remember under driver one, we put the consignee as the yard. So that will become the shipping location on driver two. You will also put in the appropriate date when he's picking up the load from the yard and going en route. You will then put in the description, type, and quantity. Then you will come down to consignee. Consignee in this case will be the final destination. You can either tab back to the load information unless you do remember but I do in this case, it's ABC out of trucking. We'll populate the location. You select the appropriate date for delivery. 
put in the description. Type and quantity. And go back to your main dispatch and save. Oh, I need to add my starting location. Here, I did hold, so I'll put in Houston, Texas. And I need to save it and do the same thing for driver two. If you are missing any information with an ITS dispatch, the pop-ups will assist you in informing you what is missing. And save. Now, if I need to create a dispatch for my drivers, I can go into the load at any given time, click on the driver one tab, and select the print function in the bottom right-hand corner. This will create a driver dispatch for this part of the leg. So in this case, I hit print and open, and it will only show the pickup from Sam's Club to my yard in Houston. That's all John Manning is doing. On the other hand, if I go to driver two tab, I can do the same thing, select my print, again open, and this will give my John Smith driver his information He's picking up the load from our yard and delivering it to the consignee. Okay, if you need to mark the number of miles either driver is doing, don't forget to always use your calculator. This will calculate the number of miles from pickup to delivery. This will be good for your IFTA miles. If you do pay your drivers by the mile, do not forget to enter this information into the driver mile box. And then once everything's been entered, don't forget to always save the information. You progress through the status update as normal, and that's all there is to adding a multiple driver load into your system.